So here is just a quick update on the curfew jag and its damage. It's over in the dead car corner with Soapy in a little coma um, where it's been sitting since I uh, had an accident in it in September, which was fortunately in a field if you've seen the video. Um, and in the last couple of days, we've just been looking at, well, we've taken bits off and seen what the actual damage is which you can see in front of you. Um, the main problem for the accident, apart from me dicking around in a field, um, which was the main problem really, is this rear hub has just basically snapped. Well, as you can see, there's a brake line, and the rest of it is under here. So to me, it looks like this here is basically old, and it's an old fracture that's been time and then the rest of it on the edges is where it's kind of let go at that point. Um, and apparently this is reasonably common that these hubs do have a hairline fracture in them, which is obviously what happened here and it's just let go. I also reckon that because of the wider tires that they have on them, on this car even, and the wider arches, which are very much built for the film, that the tire catching on that arch probably didn't help. As you can see, it was constructed. It's got these little plates up here, which are designed to for the um, tire to rub on them when the car's moving, which gives a nice kind of chirping sound and obviously not what I want. So we tried changing that a little while ago, but the arch itself is actually pretty thick. It's all, um, I'd imagine, fiberglass and fill up really. And obviously you've still got the original arch in there, which is kind of bitten away and been chopped away, which isn't good. So in terms of the other damage, we've got a nice big dent under here, um, which isn't too much of a problem really, which I was quite glad for. There is also the trailing arm has been completely ripped out of the front and there's some rust there actually, which kind of, if you can see, it's actually pulled out, which is less than ideal, which will be a bit of a pain in the backside to fit, to fix, sorry. Um, other than that, so you've got two shocks and springs either side on the rear of an XJS, the same as an XJ. This has the gas um, gold shocks, they're fully adjustable, so you can set the collar height as well and everything. This is one of them, which you can see the shape is nicely deformed. And it's all been kind of pulled out and the rest of it so it's completely smashed basically uh, which isn't great the other one actually somehow managed to survive intact and we test it it runs up straight and true which is pretty impressive if you ask me um, we'll take the other two off on the other side and have a look at those as well and we'll take the rear subframe out which we believe actually hasn't been twisted by the accident, although all the mounts were kind of almost torn from their positions, so they wouldn't even face it, but we're gonna pull the whole thing and see if anything is salvageable, or whether we need a new rear subframe, and whether we can strengthen anything as well. You can also see quite usefully here, this is the exhaust, um, which is kind of like a little concertina of metal that's been welded, so they tries to attempt to be a side exit like the fake ones. Um, this is actually, not quite a full length uh, center box on an XJS and it's supposed to go up and over the axle and then exit through here and come out the back. So there was a bit of concern before I crashed it that um, they were gonna be putting fumes into the cabin. As far as the carbon monoxide alarm said that it wasn't, but I'm still not particularly happy with it. So I'm gonna come up with a new route for those exhaust pipes to be full length again. As much as I'd like to be able to make the fake side exits exhaust work, I think cutting through the uh, inner arch is still probably not the best idea given what this car's track record is like. Um, there's still some other rust under here that we're going to have to sort out as well. And at least if we pull the rear subframe, it will give us a chance to freshen everything up, check everything over and uh, improve it that way as well. I'd quite like to, and I've wanted to for a while, is sort these rear arches out because the impacting on the rear wheels is really not ideal and it does affect the way the car drives and I'm not particularly happy with it. So the option is 
<sighs> well, there's not much apart from cut them off and make better ones, which will be expensive. But if we make thinner ones that are made out of metal, maybe have them a little bit higher up the bodywork, we'll be able to do something that way. And similarly, there's some reconstruction that needs to go on on the front of the car as well, because this has a similar kind of thing, which is just, it looks nasty and it gives me a bit of an eye twitch, to be honest. <laughs> this is very much a film car and uh, built for the looks, but it doesn't impress me very much. Um, and we've done a lot of work. There's also, it shows you how much movement there was in the rear axle. There is damage down here as well that was caused during the accident, which is, it's one of those things that happened. Um, but it's fine, really. We can sort that out. And I was kind of very worried that the near side rear wheel was going to be damaged because I can't imagine I'd find another one. They're actually quite lightweight, which is nice. But the only damage, there's some old, older damage here, which is quite odd. But the damage that I can see that I've caused is here, which is not bad at all. Um, it runs pretty well when tested um, on a machine. So I'm hoping we're gonna have that sorted out and it will give me a chance to source some new tires that are not NAF American tires, totally unsuitable for the car, which will hopefully improve the drivability of it as well. It's a shame because the tires on it haven't done much use, but one of those things, unfortunately. And you can see here, let's see if I can get an angle on it. This is the level of filler on the car. To get that, even that's the bottom of the arch filled up. So it's not the nicest of builds, but it's exactly kind of what you expect. Anyway, there are a few reasonable problems with the car that we're going to try and sort out. It's been sat here for a while, as you can see from my dusty explanation of an exhaust. Um, and hopefully it'll be back on the road at some point soon once we've done that work. It's going to take some new parts, but we'll get there eventually. And mm, yes, not sure when it will happen, but probably within the next couple of months, I would imagine. And then we'll see where we go from there. And um, I'll include a little clip of me crashing it once again for everyone's enjoyment. And hopefully we won't do it again. And the main thing is, I'm glad that didn't happen on the road. <laughs>